This is the 2024 Genesis GV80. And as Genesis says, it truly is luxury without limits. This is the prestige signature trim level, which has every luxury that you can pack into a vehicle. I cannot wait to show you what's under the hood, inside the driver's seat, and the really spacious cargo area. At an MSRP of $82,000, tell me in the comments if you think this is better than all of the German competition, because I think it might be. Before we jump in, I do have to tell you a really quick story about the GV80. I had never seen one of these on the road until several years ago. And I was at an event and I saw it pull in the parking lot and I thought it was a Bentley Bottega. And I barely know how to say that because it's a little too fancy for me. But I followed the lady around the parking lot. I was creeping on her to figure out what this was because all I was focused on was the grill and the logo in the front. And I could tell it was incredibly high end, but I didn't know what it was. So I come full circle that I'm doing these walk around videos now. And I was so thrilled to be able to get this in the prestige signature and experience all of that luxury for myself. So come with me to explore the rest of the GV80. We're gonna look at the outside. And for the prestige signature trim level, you are gonna get a smoked out chrome throughout, which looks really sporty and stylish. I love it. If you wanna zoom in on the detail here, I've driven the wheels off of this thing. So it's, a, it's dirty, but you can still see how this isn't your normal like bright silver chrome. We also have quad headlights. These are signature Genesis LED lights that are stacked here and are really sporty, really bright, and they look great at night. As I've been driving this week, everyone is asking me about this paint color. It's called Brunswick Green, and it is a matte finish. If you get a prestige signature, you have three choices, a red, green, and it also comes in black. The interior has two choices, which we're gonna see shortly when we do the inside tour, and that's a beige, which I think is more cream or black. Let's look at some of the beautiful details on the side of the GV80. Specific to this trim level, you get 22 inch alloy wheels with a gloss black finish, which looks so sporty. I'm a huge fan of the wheels, actually. You have this beautiful design here, which has more of the smoked chrome and your turn signal. These mirrors do all the things. They are power folding, they're heated, and you have uh, your blind spot in here. They're also auto dimming. Down here, you have more of this smoked out chrome and black gloss roof rails on top. I do wanna mention that it tows up to 6,000 pounds, which I think isn't bad for a vehicle of this size. In the back, we do have an exposed wiper here. This has a proximity sensor, so as long as you have the key on you, it will open for you. And you also have this handy little button right here that when you touch it, the back end will open and you can see all of the plentiful cargo space that we have in here. But I'm not showing you that yet because I want to take you into the driver's seat first because that's where I fell in love with the GV80. And under the hood, we have a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. It's an eight speed automatic. And we're going to need to kick it into sport mode to get onto this highway. Your drive mode selector is right here. And you have several different drive modes, which I'll go into detail later, but it, you can tell on your driver information system and it changes the whole look, the color to match your drive mode. So sport is red. I told you it's peppy. <laughs> I have loved driving this car because it has such a peppy engine and it's really easy to figure out all the things. Um, your drive mode selectors here, your beautiful glass gear shifter is right here. And when you turn on your turn signal, it shows your blind spots so that you can make safer maneuvers. I've been making a lot of maneuvers in here. It has such a peppy engine. And one of the things I love is that Genesis has built in noise cancellation. And I don't exactly know how, I can't explain that but I do know that this is a really quiet cabin. So even when I'm accelerating, which is really smooth, and this engine is really responsive, it's quiet. 
you don't hear a lot of road noise, which I do appreciate. That is one of my pet peeves, is to have a loud cabin when I'm in the driver's seat. It drives me crazy. So I do like the noise cancellation, even if I can't explain it. I like the climate setup. You do have heated seats, ventilated seats. You control your heated steering wheel here, and you control your rear passenger climate from up here as well, which has been really great this week, driving kids back and forth to carpool. Of course, it has a sink for you and your passenger. This star button is a customizable feature that you have here, and you also have it over here on your steering wheel. And so you can make it whatever your go-to thing is. What I use it for on the steering wheel is my voice projection for passengers. So if I hit it, hey guys, it's too loud. Pack up all your stuff, we're almost to school. Or if I want them to hear me singing and I don't wanna hear them singing, I also blast out my Taylor Swift on the passenger speakers. Another little push turns that off. If you wanted it to go to settings, you could use the star here. And as soon as you customize this, it would take your screen exactly to what you wanted to. And these are your choices. It can take you home. You can set your Bluetooth from that your phone, your driver assistance, you have a lot of options to make this whole experience really customizable. You can also control the radio from here, from here, and from up here with this dial. So lots of ways to bump your beats in this 21 speaker Lexicon sound system, which sounds so good. And for a quick mute, you just push this down or push this down and it will cut your audio. So again, you can talk to your passengers. These seats that are heated and ventilated are also a quilted Napa leather, which carries over onto your console. The quilted material here looks so nice. I love the pass through. It's just a little area to hide some valuables, keep them out of sight or keep things from rolling around. And you also have plenty of storage here and your armrest. It is all business in the second row of the GV80. And I'm gonna start by using my coat hook. Now that we've got that out of the way, you still have these premium Napa quilted seats back here that are still heated and ventilated just like the front seat passengers. Just like the front seat, you also have this huge armrest that opens on both sides for more storage with a little tray in here as well. Your passengers back here have a wireless charging pad, which is very premium and I've not seen that before. I like it. Your two cup holders in your console, an additional area for storage here in the middle. And may I direct your attention to extra storage down here as well which I used as the driver. It was really easy to turn around and pop this out. I had snacks in there this week. Your controls for your climate are back here with your heated and ventilated seats. You have two USB charging ports and a traditional household plug. These second row seats are power adjusting and there's even a relax button. So the seat will recline and tip back support your head so that you are in the best possible position to relax. <sighs> Maybe we should just cut the video here and I'll take a little nap and then we'll come back. All right, I don't have time for that. But the power seats are fabulous. I love the relax feature. And I also love the fact that for girls night, the girls have a mirror to see what's up and it has illumination. Last but not least, in the back of this luxury vehicle, I want you to draw your attention to the power sunshades. My son discovered this yesterday. I didn't even know about the power sunshades. I can also control those from the front. So if you're driving baby and it's super bright, you can shade baby with the touch of a button. Speaking of hauling children, you do have sets of lower latches in these seats, which are marked with these nice little buttons. There's so much back here. It's just a delight to the senses. Another great thing for passengers in the second row, you can move this seat with the touch of a button up or back to give yourself extra legroom. But I find that the legroom back here is plentiful. 
I think you have 38 inches total of room back here, but I will verify. These seats will lay flat if you have extra cargo, and they do that with just the touch of a button. Everything about this is luxury. There's tons of cargo space in the back of the Genesis GV80. It has a proximity sensor, so if you have the key on you, it will beep and then it will open, or you can just press this button. You have cargo nets, buttons to fold your second row, illumination, and a 12 volt plug, and extra Lexicon speakers so you can continue to bump your beats if you're at a very swanky tailgate. Under here, you have a little extra storage with a shade, a privacy protector that you can put in here so you can hide your Christmas presents or whatever you've got back here. I do wanna mention that there is one trim level of the GV80 where you can get an optional third row. This vehicle is not going to be any longer or bigger, but it would have additional seats in the third row. It would be tight, it would be cramped, but it would be there just in case you needed it. One of the really luxury features that you have on this vehicle are soft closed doors, and I hope you can see it. So you know a lot of times people will like kind of close it, but it doesn't get all the way. Did you see that? Let me do it again in slow motion because this truly is amazing. I also discovered this on a whim because my kids will forever leave the doors like right here. And you know, you walk by and you have to put your hip into it. Not on this car. Watch this. Soft closed doors. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the 2024 Genesis GV80 Prestige Signature with an MSRP of $83,000. I hope I've showed you that it is packed with tons of luxury. What do you think? Does it compare to the German competition? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. And for more fun and family car reviews, follow the Real Mom Car Tours.